Hi, I'm Al Gore, and I'm doing a Wired Autocomplete interview. I work on solving the climate crisis. Okay, is climate change urgent? Yes, extremely urgent. These extreme weather events are becoming much more frequent. Just in the last eight years in the U.S., we've had 10 so-called once-in-a-thousand-year events. Is climate change urgent? Scientific fact. Well, the scientists tell us it is. They have known the basics of this for 150 years, and they say that it's as established as, like, gravity. Is climate change reversible? We have already caused some damage, some of which is not reversible. But here's the key fact. The truly catastrophic consequences of global warming can still be prevented. Okay, is climate change political. Some of the large carbon polluters have been pumping lots of money into lobbying and campaign contributions, and that has made it political in a way that's that it's not in any other country. Is climate change being stopped? No, not yet. But like a lot of other social revolutions in the past, the abolition of slavery, getting women the right to vote, civil rights movement, all of these movements have seemed like they would never succeed at times. But then when the central question became clear, a choice between what's clearly right and what's clearly wrong, then the change started really speeding up. That's the point we're at in the climate movement. Can renewable energy create jobs? It definitely can. The fastest growing single job occupation over the next decade is predicted to be wind turbine technician. Can renewable energy be stored. The same kind of technological revolution that we saw with cell phones, that's now beginning to happen with batteries. The combination of cost-effective batteries and solar energy will revolutionize the entire energy landscape. Can renewable energy help the environment? Definitely yes. By relying on the burning of coal and natural gas, the global warming pollution that comes from it is trapping as much extra heat energy in the atmosphere as would be released by 400,000 Hiroshima-class atomic bombs going off every day. Can renewable energy power the U.S.? Yes, absolutely. Wind energy alone could produce 40 times as much electricity as the entire world uses each year. The figures are even more dramatic with solar energy. The Earth gets as much energy from the sun in one hour to equal all of the energy used by the entire global economy for a full year. That's incredible. Can we live on renewable energy alone? Yes, we can. The big revolution is electric vehicles. Every major automobile manufacturer in the world is preparing to roll out really cool electric vehicles that have a range of 300 miles. It's very, very exciting. Okay, how can extreme weather affect the economy. Big storms wipe out bridges and destroy highways and sever interstates. How can extreme weather affect human health? First of all, heat stress puts a lot of people at risk. Second, the changing climate conditions expand the ranges of some of these mosquitoes that carry Zika and other diseases. Can extreme weather affect food security? Heat stress on plants, pests and blights, plant diseases, are made worse by the climate crisis. And a really surprising finding, the extra CO2 in the atmosphere is now beginning to reduce the nutrient value in the food crops that we rely on in our diets. How can extreme weather affect our life? Massive record-breaking flood events mudslides in some areas, massive long deep drought events. These extreme weather events really have a, a very harsh impact. How can we protect the environment? First of all, by speeding up the shift away from dirty fossil fuels and toward 
clean, renewable energy. We can protect the environment when we go into the marketplace by choosing the, the greenest, uh, most climate-friendly options. And finally, you can protect the environment by letting candidates know that the environment is important to you and that you're going to base your vote in the next election very heavily on the way that candidate responds to, to concerns about the environment. When enough people do that, we will protect the environment.